love seeing the passion that all three of us have for a topic. I know we all like this episode. Arzu, what is uh, one element of this chapter that you did enjoy, which has you excited looking ahead to chapter 11? My favorite part of this chapter was um, Baby Yoda's sort of renewed, com- like not comfort, but sort of the way he gravitates toward Din as a father more now, like the little waddle for him to be picked up or like how he's nuzzling into him when he wants to fall asleep. Like, so they're getting much closer. I think maybe more than Din is ready to admit that he is essentially this child's father. Like he's like, I'm going to take him. I'm going to deliver him somewhere. But the way it's going and especially the way baby Yoda is acting around him now, I don't think he's going to be able to do that. So that's what I'm excited to see is the development of their, of their bond as that gets stronger. Very interesting. You know, I'm not someone that who, When I watch an episode or I watch a movie, I'm watching the story unfold, and I don't always catch the Easter eggs in the background, Um, not until I go back for a couple viewings. Um, So I myself thought that this chapter was okay. I was one of the people saying this feels like a filler. I watched a second time and identified a lot of what Arzu, what you just talked about which is the relationship that's developing between Din and Yoda. <laughs> ah, the child. That was so funny. I called it Yoda because it looks like Yoda. I keep saying baby Yoda instead of the child because yeah. that doesn't I, come naturally. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to call it the child because I said baby Yoda like a couple weeks ago and people were like, David, it's not baby Yoda anymore. <laughs> we know it's the child. Okay, fine. So uh, like I was saying, I, I, I thought some of those Easter eggs were fun going back the second, third viewing and, and figuring those out. Um, but it's not the main reason why I w- were to watch an episode. Pete, did you have an Easter egg, a moment from chapter 10 that you really enjoyed? Has you looking forward to this week's episode? Um, well, I mean, I, I loved seeing Treadwell cooking the, the meat. Um, but I think uh, <laughs> <laughs> two things that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Two things I loved about this episode. One is um, we every single one of us could uh, associate and identify with the Mandalorian's desire to constantly want to just take a nap. It has been a very long 2020. There's at least two or three times during this episode that he just wants to sleep. And I love that. Um, but I I have a hot take. I think Pelly set him up for something. Um, mm-hmm. And I think Pelly is going to turn into... Uh, uh, I think she'll redeem herself, but I think she's um, I think she set him up for something. I mean, sending him in uh, a sublight um, uh, passage certainly allows somebody to get ahead of him to wherever he's headed. I think that's a solid take. And I didn't even think about how it could all be a lie. Um, I personally think that, OK, and this is an assumption, but I think Frog Lady is taking Din and the child to that 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 water planet with the harbor. Mm-hmm. What do you yeah. guys think about that? Do you think that's a, like a likely outcome? Are we going to find out who this hooded female in the crates is going to be here on Friday? I sincerely hope so. <laughs> I, and, I'm ready to I'm ready to see who she is. Settle whether or not she's Sabine because I hope and don't think that she is. I, I genuinely hope she's not Sabine. So I'm excited to see who she is and what role she's going to play. So I'm ready for that. And do you think it would be a minor character because it wouldn't if, if it weren't Sabine, do you think that it's a character that will have a large impact on the story? I hope so. Because Sabine Sabine has her own story. She has Rebels. If they ever do a Rebel spinoff with Ahsoka, she has that. So I think if they're going to bring in another character now that they teased, you know, in the trailer like that and got everybody talking, I hope she plays a big like a a bigger role because I know she's not the lead. That's just Din. But I hope right. she gets yeah. big And she may not be Sabine, but it would be cool if Sabine is there because uh, if I remember correctly, they said that uh, um, Frog Lady's husband knows a Mandalorian. So maybe they're going to connect him to Sabine or, uh, or Bo-Katan. Bo-Katan. That would be wild. I Listen, whoever Sasha Banks is, I hope it's a character that does stick around for more than one episode. Um, you know, obviously we're not talking about it really much this week, but yeah. Boba Fett's gonna come back at some point. Yeah, we're not we're not too worried about that. We know that that mm. character we get to play with later. But right now, I think that we're getting to the point where, yeah, it le- it feels like a Sabine or I don't think Bogotan, but uh, a lot of possibilities. I personally, just in this moment, not related. I really do hope the armor it c- makes a comeback in season two. I think that would be yeah. a lot of fun. Um, but I- I'm thrilled to see how this story again unfolds this Friday, chapter 11. We don't have a title. We'll all find out together when we watch uh, the stream. What's it supposed to be called? What's the alleged title? 
I don't even you remember. Know. I stopped yeah. looking at our yeah, list I've because given up. It, they, they were so wrong. <laughs> they were so wrong. <laughs> but yeah. what's but is there anything else that we need to talk about looking ahead when we think about chapter eleven? Is there something that you anticipate happening in this next episode that you think is going to knock fans out of their seats? I want Doctor Pershing back, but I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> It'd be strange I if he showed up in the harbor, back. right? Yeah. I will scream. <laughs> be able to hear it. I really want him to come back some point this season. Yeah, I think the big the big thing is that, you know, if you think about episode three of season one, it was a big um it was an important connector and solidified the relationship between um Din and the child. I think this episode will also give us some sort of um direction for the season right i think it's going to put him much closer i i think you know the first two episodes he kind of he was looking for a mandalorian but wasn't able to find one i think this one he's going to find one and this is going to start the the second half and and sort of the full arc of the season awesome we want to know what you think let us know what you think about the mandalorian season two so far were you upset about chapter 10 did you find an easter egg that you really enjoyed are you thrilled about another episode they just keep coming week after week it's pretty a it's a pretty good time to be a star wars fan we want to know what you think let us know in the live chat you can also let us now uh let us know down in the comments section make sure you include frosted covered wampas to be entered in that contest or you can also let us know at btbd star wars to continue this star wars conversation now this was a thank you for watching beyond the blast doors be sure to subscribe to our channel don't forget give us a thumbs up and leave a comment beyond the blast doors a star wars conversation